Neo Day is over and I am so impressed by all the new announcements Neo made. Not only did they reveal their first electric sedan, their new battery swap stations and their 150 kilowatt hour battery plants. They also revealed their partnership with Nvidia, which has been rumored for quite some time now. So guys, today we have tons of things to talk about and by the end you should know about all the key takeaways from Neo Day and also how I think it should impact Neo's share price. What you're looking at right now was really Neo's main event. They just unveiled their first all electric sedan, the Neo ET7. This is the first model that is powered by the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack, giving it a maximum range of more than 1000 kilometers, which we'll talk about more later. But this sedan also has an impressive 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration time of 3.9 seconds. It is equipped with Neo's autonomous driving, which has an ultra long range high precision LiDAR which is basically the technology that measures distances through lasers. Neo ET7 will also be the first model in the world to feature an 8 megapixel self-driving HD camera, which will be used by the car to collect data through images, improving its autopilot even further. Yet another amazing feature going into its autonomous technology is the single most powerful mass-produced mobile computing platform to date, the so-called ADAM or ADAM Neo Supercomputing Platform which has 33 pieces of high performance sensing hardware all over the vehicle. With this system, Neo's vehicles will be able to achieve full coverage of high speed, urban, parking and battery swap scenarios, truly making an autonomous driving experience even more autonomous. Founder and CEO of NEO, William Lee Bin, which I'm sure you're all familiar with, even said that ADAM or ADAM has seven times the computing power of Tesla's FSD computer. And guys, guess what company NEO has partnered up with to supply them with processors for this new supercomputer? That's right, the American tech giant NVIDIA. Their NVIDIA Orin is the world's highest performance AV and robotics processor. This thing delivers an unprecedented 254 trillions of operations per second and can be scaled down if necessary. And NEO's vehicles will have four of these in each of their vehicle, really taking their autopilot to the next level. But apart from getting the actual cutting edge technology through this partnership, I am honestly just really happy to see NEO working with an American tech company of this size. This will very likely open the door for future partnerships and make it easier for NEO to establish themselves as a brand and go mainstream outside of China. Jason Huang, founder and CEO of NVIDIA, also said, We are delighted to partner with NEO, a leader in the new energy vehicle revolution, leveraging the power of AI to create the software-defined EV fleets of the future. And William Lee Bin has also mentioned that the cooperation of NEO and NVIDIA will accelerate the development of autonomous driving on smart vehicles. So when you hear such an established company talk about NEO like this, I really think it will lead to them getting more popular and accepted abroad. I'm sure that a lot of people right now who have never heard of NEO before, but through their partnership with the likes of NVIDIA can gain trust in the brand and understand just how advanced of a company this is technology wise. Now, I have heard rumors about this partnership before, since there really aren't that many processors or processors to choose from if you want to build the most advanced supercomputer for autonomous driving. But still, I am really happy to hear that these weren't just rumors. So now we know the main points about this new ET7 sedan, which will have a starting price of about $69,000 and being delivered in the first quarter of 2022. But moving on to the battery side of things, today NEO also unveiled a 150 kilowatt hour solid state battery, giving the entire NEO product lineup on sale right now a range of more than 850 kilometers, and their new sedan a range of more than 1000 kilometers. 
also with this new battery that will start being delivered in the fourth quarter of 2022 by the way, the energy density will increase by 50% basically giving you more energy relative to how much the battery actually weighs. So like I just said, we are a little less than two years away from this 150 kilowatt hour battery finally being delivered. But thanks to the technological advances of NEO's battery swapping technology, NEO users can simply upgrade their batteries when this new one comes out. And that guys is a nice segue into NEO's announcement and unveiling of their second generation battery swap station. It has tripled the service capacity, loads up to 13 batteries, and can provide up to 312 services in a single day. It occupies four parking spaces and allows vehicles to be parked automatically without the user having to get out of the car. And also the battery swap can be activated at the touch of a button inside the car. So it is such a nice, easy process. Right now, NIO has 117 battery swap stations and they have provided over 1.49 million battery swap services. But their plans for this year is to go all the way up to 500 stations and I am so excited to see just how big this operation can get. 66% of NIO users also have their own home chargers. So this is really almost a separate business aside from just their cars. And now guys, lastly, we have heard a bunch of cool plans when it comes to how NEO is strengthening their brand and really creating a community around it. They introduced a new program that allows NEO users to track their carbon reductions and receive NEO points or carbon credits, thus incentivizing people to be loyal to the NEO brand and helping the climate at the same time. They also announced a very unique fashion line for NEO where they make clothes from excess materials of the vehicle manufacturing process. They will also open hotels exclusively for NEO users. So guys, this is really why I think NEO will have such an easy time to establish their brand and become famous all over the world. When you buy a NEO, you really buy into a lifestyle and a community of like-minded car enthusiasts. And just looking at how satisfied their current customers are with this company, I am confident that we will see their brand grow more and more and really take over the electric vehicle market, in my opinion. So what can we expect from Monday though with all this said? Unfortunately, the market is really unpredictable and sometimes investors like to sell on the news. But I really think all these points I just explained and mentioned in this video are super bullish for the stock and should definitely warrant a higher share price. Being this far when it comes to technological advancement combined with NEO being such an attractive brand right now really makes me think that these guys can totally rival Tesla in the years to come. But guys, I want to remind you here, I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice, so do your own research and come to your conclusions, even though I am clearly bullish on NEO. And with that, I want to conclude today's video. If you are new here, by the way, my name is Sam and welcome to this channel, Financial Dragon. Here I talk about various different growth stocks, although it has been a lot of NEO these past days just because of everything that's happening right now, so exciting. Um, anyways, if you like this particular video, then please press that like button. It would appreciate, I would appreciate it so much and it would help support the channel more than you can imagine. Uh, also, if you watched all the way to this point and if you enjoy the content, of course, then why not subscribe to the channel as well? Also, press the notification bell so you never miss when I upload my next video. And as always, thank you guys so much for your support and I will see you in the next video, which will likely be in a couple of days since I have some studying to catch up on right now. Uh, so goodbye, see you soon.